there, I'm David, and welcome to Let's Play the Magical Land of Waz. Today we're heading into the Fairy Forest uh, to head over to the Continent of Elemen. Ooh, some new enemies. What do we have here? We have the Splanter. Okay, so we're just going to attack. Um, I'm going to use Burn because they're pretty much weak to fire in this place. Let's see, the Splanter has 590 HP. Its skill is Vaccine, and its main weakness is actually Ice, but I don't have Ice, but eh, we'll use Burn. See what happens. Ooh, 326, a lot better than, like, the 100 that Telekinesis would have done. There we go, perfect. Yeah, last time we were here, we, um, we couldn't go past the fairies. The fairies were kind of blocking the entrance. So now we can go through here. Let's talk to you. This is the fairy forest. Eora, the wind fairy, lives somewhere in these woods. I wonder where. Yeah, well, the woods aren't all that big, so I'll find her in about a matter of one minute or so. And here we have some new enemies. Who are these? The Alchemers. Okay, let's use Telekinesis. And there we go. Okay, the Alchemers have 290 HP, have the skill of Hypnotize, and are weak to Ice and Wind. So we're heading up north to the continent of Elemen, which is uh, the next continent, the next place that we have to go to, uh, to try to find Balaam. We've already stopped the Fear Rain, and uh, now it's time to put an end to Blom's treachery. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, level up. Nice. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh, leather gloves. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to go... And here we have another new enemy Ooh, in the initiative as well. Pollinator, it looks like. I'm gonna, oh, no, I want to use burn. There we go. Perfect. The pollinator has 1,400 HP, has a skill of Waz Pollen, and is weak to fire. So we'll be using that. What do you got, Chun? Come on now. Wow! 689 damage. Nice. Okay, perfect. I think just one more round of that. And the reason why I'm kind of low on... MP and everything. Last time I healed up at the end and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I just want to do a little mini test run in here and uh, just make sure I knew exactly where all the treasures were. Because the last time I played this game was the last time that I wrote my guide, which was like 2007. So it's been quite some time. Where's Yora? Tee hee hee! She's nearby. Elements on the other side of this forest. We serve our Lady Yora. Okay, let's move on. And we go straight from a forest into a house. I don't know how that comes... Oh, we got a potion X. Nice. I don't know how that comes about, but eh, whatever. What do we have here? A switch on the wall. Yes. You know, when I was little, I remember seeing switches like that in RPGs and be like, I'm scared, I don't want to flip the switch. You know, what am I going to do? What if it's the wrong thing to do? So I would never flip any switches, and I was just like, oh, I guess I have to. <laughs> Oh, I have guests! Welcome to my home. Um, it's nice to meet you. Hmm, you... Are you the heroes that I've heard about? Yes. Are you the fairy that controls wind magic? Yes. I'm Eora, the guardian of the wind. I was told by the fairy queen to help you whatever way I can. Please, stand over here and I'll teach you to use the power of wind. Is it going to take this long every single time, along with the very extraordinarily slow text? What about your treasure? I wanted the treasure behind you. All done. Your wind magic will grow stronger in time. Use it well. What about the treasure? It's locked. You bitch. Good luck, heroes. I want the damn treasure! Ah, oh, one moment, please. The truth is, I don't know how to ask this. Would you help me find my cats? Cats? Yes, cats. Here, kitty kitty. <laughs> oh, how cute! This little one's seven brothers and sisters have got lost. They could be anywhere in the land of Waz by now. Those are some brave kitty cats. Hey, hey, you're telling me to look for some stinking cats? Come on, it's all right. We're going to go looking all over for Balaam anyway, right? We'll just look for them whenever we have time. 
Okay, okay, fine. Only when we have time, only. Thank you for your help. Okay, perfect. So, when it, what's going to happen is, whenever we go and we find a cat, it's going to automatically go back to Eora, and then we're going to be able to get one of those treasure chests. So, I'll make sure to show that on camera as well. But anyway, let's continue moving on. Another one of those little white things that I have no idea what they do. So, go over, round, over. You know, I really don't like the artificial padding. Ooh, what do we have here? We have a Was Venus. There we go, perfect. A Was Venus has 790 HP, its skill is Sleep Poison, and its weakness is Bomb. Bomb and Fire Magic are two different types of magic. I'm going to be using Fire anyway, eh, just because. I feel like it's forest enemies, so they should be weak to Fire, but they're unfortunately not, which actually kind of pisses me off. <laughs> Ooh, the sleep poison. That's what that does. Poison. Nah, I hate poison. It's just such a pain. You have to go into the menu. You gotta cure it. It's just a pain in the ass. Okay, hold on. Let me clear this. Okay, that's all cured. So let's go through this passage. Grab. What do we have? Ice dress. Nice. Okay, I just looked up the ice dress, and it took Leona's defense from 93 all the way up to 120. Oh, there's a fairy over there. 120. I can talk to that fairy. I didn't see her over the branches. Hero, allow me to teach you a great fairy invention. Learned slow text. Ooh, a wood tank. Awesome. I'll have to make that whenever I make that, then I can talk about tanks and vehicles and other things that, uh, that Shun can use in battle. You know, it would be a nice balance factor if Leona was able to use the tanks and things like that in battle, but no, it's something that Shun uses, unfortunately. Okay, so we're out of the forest. Okay, so, oh, there's that fire forest, or forest of flames, or whatever. So now we are in Fairy Run, or Fey Run. Let's go exploring. Ooh, famous fortune teller west of town. Weapon shop, I'll buy the stuff off screen real quick. All I bought in the weapon shop was a weapon for shot, the, um, the, the great bow. Let's go ahead and use this. The line is open. Perfect. Um, no, I'll be traveling later, but for right now, I don't want to travel. Let's go in here. And we can check over here. Find a potion X, but it's part of the shop stock. No, I'm honest. Yeah, stealing is wrong. It certainly is. You're going to want to make sure that you buy at least five hot cocos and 100 magic T's here. One hundred. You heard me right. Yeah, it seems kind of pretty over here. So let's go inside the inn. The reason why I say that is because we're going to get into some dungeons now that are pretty long, and Shun's MP is going to be uh, a primo. It's going to be of prime importance, and uh, so you just got to make sure that you have him with as much MP as possible. Perfect. Got a hot cocoa there. And, uh, you can have up to 999 of any item, if I didn't say so earlier. So everybody's talking about the Fairy Queen here. Let's talk to this guy, because he has something actually important to say. I have no idea where the Fairy Castle could be. I know, maybe the Fortune Teller could find out where it is. Well, we need to go and see this Fortune Teller. Move out of my way. Move out of my way. Move out of my... Move! Ugh. Okay, got the mermaids here there. Let's keep going. Yeah, and uh, as much as Medisto comes in really handy for all of his healing, he's not going to be around forever, so we want to make sure that we uh, have Chun on healing duty a lot as well. Yeah, we did! Thank you! Let's talk to you. You have some useful information. There's money hitting two steps south and six steps west of the teleth box. That's what the fortune teller told me. So we might want to go meet this fortune teller. She seems uh, pretty handy to have around. She's talking about money hidden, she's talking about all sorts of stuff. The Fairy Queen, I'm sure someone around here knows about her. Well, yeah, somebody does. Oh, is that a fairy? Let's talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the person... Move out of my way. 
The person who actually knows of a fairy queen is this person right over here. Yes, I do want some more information. The fairy queen lives in a fortress called the Fairy Castle. The seven fairies that protect the five great magics of Wa serve her. If you're planning to defeat Balam, you should definitely meet the queen and seek that magic. If you're looking for the fairy castle, your best bet is to ask the fortune teller to the west. Okay, so we want to go to the west, and I still need to find that, um, that hidden money. So, move, move! I will squash you like the bug that you are, you frickin' fairy! <sighs> okay, so we need to go two steps south and six steps west of the telephone box. So here we go. One, two, two, two three, four, five, six. Is that right? Is that it? Did I make it? There we go! Ooh, 500 gold. Very good. Awesome. Okay, so the next thing on my list of things to do is the invention shop right over here. So if you go in, there's a couple things that I'm actually able to invent, but I'm going to have to use the telepa box to warp around to, uh, to buy the equipment. I can make a Den Den, I'm going to make a wooden tank, a, a Pepper Robo, I guess it's called, uh, a Bomb Launcher, and a Double Wazooka, and also a Wolf Cap. So I need to go and buy a lot of different stuff, and I'm going to put that stuff in the video description. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that stuff, and uh, I will meet, well... I'm going to go ahead and buy that stuff, and then next time on Let's Play The Magical Lands of Waz, we are going to go meet the fortune teller in the land to the west. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.